Okay, I'm going to open my file right now and just cloning it. Proceeding back into it. And just going to install my gems. Okay. Oh, that's right. Uh, I still have some of my old files from my first attempt at this project, so we're just going to delete them because we don't really need them anymore. Okay, so the part that I'm going to do here is to change my initial scrape method, which is the basically the the main one out of all of my entire parser class. Uh, it collects all of the information from all of the cards that I need, and I'm using the mechanized gem for the replacement because I was using Nokogiri before, but I would sometimes get a connection error. Uh, and I found Mechanize is a little more, um, it has a few more options for tagging relative information. Uh, and so right now I'm going to use my extension from Chrome that helps me access some of that additional information that I need for the website to give me access to their content through my, um, through my parser class. So, looks like my user agent information is still the same, but my refer looks like it changed from the last time I was working on it. Let's just change that. And this is just some local testing I was doing first, just to see if it will work since uh, I hadn't tried the mechanized gem before. Okay, but now we're going to replace the Nokogiri testing that I was doing with the mechanized version. Just comment out those things. Make that agent. Okay. Just copy this to make it a little easier for me. Place doc to be this. And let's just get the URL for the site since I'm not going to be doing any local testing anymore. Oh. Well, actually, just to make sure, I want to see if there's any change in the URL and there's no cookie catching. Sometimes I notice some websites kind of do change that. Uh, okay, I guess it looks like it's the same. Yeah. Right, just trying to see if my layout is still correct. Since I've changed the Nokogiri, oh right, so I need to change my local to my, the actual real URL now. I'm just going to have to look through my different methods to see if there's any more that I need to replace. Oh, here's another one. Okay. Uh, nothing there. Alright. I can get rid of this commented out. Oh, it's the top part. Oh, there we go. Okay. Check. Okay, I guess. All right. Yeah, my environment is still right. I don't need to change anything. All right. Let's run the API. Oh, 
oh no, syntax error, unexpected keyword, ensure keyword end, line 65, what's going on? Okay, my ensure, oh, I bet it's just in the wrong area. So I'm just going to X that out and paste it into the Ruby mine. I sometimes kind of change my IDE from the learn one to the Ruby mine. Uh, so Ruby mine is kind of good in that it kind of lets you know what's encapsulated inside of each sort of uh, method or argument, what have you. And Okay, yep, that's what was going on. I'm sure it was inside of my do for the doc.css part, so it should be outside. Ah, because uh, the begin case was outside of that part of my scrape card method. I'm just kind of making this layout a little better. Okay, yeah, I think you can still leave that the same. I don't think having the ensure there would mess it up again. Alright, let's try it out one more time. Oh man, no such file or directory. Releases open. Line 144. Oh, what's wrong? What you talking about? This is open. Okay, let's trusty Google. Tell me what's wrong. Ruby. So okay, let's try another one. Okay, this so is the file open. So I know that I do yet, so I'd have a method that is implementing that in my parser class. And it's with sys open. So that's a gem. It's open URI. Okay. So, yeah, I guess I'm just not using that gem yet, so let's require it. Let me just copy it. Save it. Try one more time. Oh man, Ruby's standard. Oh, that's right. Sometimes the standard library gems don't include that part in it when you're requiring. Okay, yeah, it's, it's working now. All right, yep. Yeah, let's try one of these actions. Oh, there we go. Seems to be working. Let's try one of my other actions. CSV file was saved. Right, let's try the third action. Purchase one of the cards from the number set. Let's try number 44. Oops, there they are, 44. Let's copy that URL. Oh, yeah. There you go. Alright. Gen Gitaxius. It looks like it works. Let's 
let's open up the CSV file, see if the content in there is still correct. Oh, wait a sec, missing my image column, but it looks like everything else was loaded. What about my database? Oh, it's empty? That's weird. Oh, maybe I'm like running out of memory. So maybe it's just taking a while for it to actually load up because otherwise I wouldn't have gone to the CSV file to get all that content because it had to be scraped from the SQL methods that I had implemented. Alright, now I just have to comment back in my image line because before I had it commented out since before I was doing local testing. Um, and this method actually goes to another page since the initial page that I'm getting the script content from didn't have a high resolution image so I basically had to go one more level deep that's why I had to do uh, or omit that part from my local testing because it would just have to be like a ton of local HTML files I would have had to load it to just do that local testing so it was, it was too much of a hassle but I did do some testing to see if it would work with at least one of them uh, and it did so let's just make sure that it's still correct though, even though I had tried it out before. Wait a sec, syntax error. Expecting curly braces inside of my open Nokugiri. What's wrong? So mine 59. 59. That's my image. Oh, yeah. Oops. Forgot to put a comma. Right, one more time. Okay, seems to be working. Alright, let's scrape the first option. Oh no. Image for this instance of MTG. Oh man, it's a bunch of stuff here. Line 19 of my MTG class. Oh, oh, that's right. Um, didn't get these comments out before like I had mentioned before I was doing local testing that kinda was too crazy for me to download those separate HTML files locally so I had just omitted that part for now still getting an error though uh, line 14 of MTG oh same thing again forgot my comma Alright, one more time. Let's try the first option one more time. Still loading. Yeah, I'm definitely running out of memory. I've been doing too many scrapes recently, I bet it's probably storing all that stuff. Alright. Looks to be working. Let's save the CSV file so we can later check to see if the image URLs have been attached into it as well. Alright, let's try the purchase option, let's see if the URL is still also correct. Right, I guess it seems to be working. Maria Shepherd is the name of the card. Let's see, Maria Shepherd. So okay, yeah, looks so like you got the correct one. Right, let's close this. Alright, let's check out the CSV.
What? Looks like the URLs are in there. So that's good. Alright, let's make these active links so we can check them out. Alright. Oh, that one's not working. Okay. Not working either. Okay, there we go. Alright, that one's also working. Not working. Okay. Alright. working. Alright, let's find out why this is wrong. Oh, I think I know why. It's because of the underscore that I did a replacement for. Yeah, 404 error. Let's try to see what the URL would be actually let me find out first which format I script from initially it's from standard gainers okay so standard and what card number was it uh, sky sovereign console flagship where are you? There we go. Okay. Let's get the developer tool so we can see what the URL for that image actually is. Yeah, that works. Yeah, let's find out what the difference between this one and the one that I got is just to be 100% sure. It's the one that I have. Alright. Okay, yep, that's what it is. It's the comma replaced with the underscore. So I basically had to do that because before, when I wasn't implementing that replacement, when it was doing the scraping, I was basically getting separated. Uh, columns in my CSV file. So yeah, as you can see here from line 81, I had to do a global sub from the comma as an underscore. Since I was getting the line breaking errors on my CSV files, and it would have basically been separating the card names and it would have just been a jumbled mess. So it was the fix that I could do for that time being. Right, let me just close all this stuff here so we can test out the database at least, see if that's also correct since the last time it looked like it was empty. Okay, looks like I was able to scrape all that content and save it in there. And the schema looks like it's correct. Yep. Alright, let me delete all this stuff here. So we're gonna have a clean slate when I push this newly revised stuff onto my GitHub. So just deleting that CSV file since we don't need it anymore. And then let me get my commit statement ready. Implemented the mechanize gem into what's the name of that method I got it into oh that's right scrape cards parser scrape cards revise URLs in parser methods Alright, 
clear that out, git add, all the new stuff. Oh, that's right. Deleted some files, so I have to do git add all. Let's check the status. Alright, looks good. Alright, let's do my commit. Oh, wait, that's right, I have it copied. Right, git push. Let's just check the commit. Okay, there it is. Check. I should probably add a comment in here, kind of explaining why there's all this red, which has to do with the deleted files from my initial start of this project okay deleted scraper and set files as those were from my first initial attempt at this project from another site. However, I had to remake, so I basically had to remake the whole project since I wasn't able to get the content from my site. That's why I had to use the mechanized gem instead of Nokugiri. So I had to remake it from the bottom up, literally. Hence the deletion of those two files. Uh, maybe I should actually add the link to the commit where I first started my new project again. So they can show the separation point between the first attempt at this project which I basically had written the entire thing. I was all complete until I started to get uh, an error that basically the bot that was scraping the the site was um, was being recognized and it wasn't allowing me to get any more content. Okay, this is it. Let me get the commit hash. And check commit hash for more details about the project renewal. There you go.